Good morning, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing some painting here. And uh, we've, I've been doing painting for quite a while now. And just wanted to share a few tips with uh, some things for getting uh, streak-free walls. We have flat walls. There is no texture to them. And so they're a little bit more sensitive with making sure that as you roll, uh, you do it in a certain way so that you don't have streaks. So I'm not saying that, that there is only one way to do it, but this is the way that we have found that works the best after researching a little bit. The reason all of these little patchy spots are here is I did a little bit of mudding, um, and then rather than just roll straight over the, the mud, uh, it's a good idea to put a little bit of paint over it first because it soaks up a little bit more. It's kind of like priming it almost, uh, but just using the uh, same color that we're painting the wall. So, uh, the most critical thing is to keep your roller very, very full of paint all the time. Uh, so, I'm just initially going to load the wall up with paint. And you try to keep your paint away from the, you don't want to get like a really thick bit right next to the ceiling right away. You want to stay a little bit down from it, and uh, then you'll come back and spread it out here in a few minutes, uh, if that makes sense. So I will keep on going here. I will leave this full length so you can observe the entire process for, not the entire wall, but for at least a width here. So don't spend any time trying to squeeze paint out of the roller onto the wall, because it's really just a waste of energy and and time um, and just keep on dipping your dipping your roller and go onto the wall and I have been going up three to four roller widths before I kind of call it and go back and spread it out so we're going to go one more roller width just continuing to apply thick paint since this is a little bit taller wall um, I'm using about two dips per per width, uh, but a lot of times you can get by with just one dip per roller width. So there we got it. All right, so now we're going to spread this out a little bit more. I'm just going to work it down and just move over a half a roller width at a time. Make sure that we get this on good and thick. If you get a really nice thick coat, sometimes you're lucky enough to only have to do one coat. So we'll see how that goes. See, I'm gonna add a little bit of paint right here because I'm having to push a little bit to get that spread out. And this shouldn't be the case. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more paint so that we have a nice thick coat. No pushing required very much anyway. back down. And you can see, I'm not sure how well you can see, but there's there are paint lines or roller roller marks, you can call them, at the moment, but I'm still not concerned about them because I'm not to the stage where I'm going to fix them yet. Okay, I'm gonna roll down. Now I'm just kind of rolling over it lightly. And uh, we are about to be, basically, we're starting the process of back rolling. And back rolling is the most crucial part of making sure that you have no paint lines on your walls. So uh, the way we're going to do it now is we basically are touching our roller to the wall and then very, very lightly, like you're basically just kind of riding the roller up the wall and you're not putting any pressure on it at all and try to get a little bit past the top where you previously went to. And now I'm just letting it just very gradually ride down the wall. Now all this is doing you now is just making sure that everything is spread out really evenly and you shouldn't have any roller marks whatsoever uh, on the wall after you back roll 
back roll it as long as you back roll very carefully and do a visual inspection to make sure you don't have any paint line or any lines developing. Uh, as it dries, you will see a little bit of what kind of looks like paint lines initially, but it's not anything to be concerned about because it's just um, as the paint dries, you can kind of see where the roller has gone. But as long as you don't have any ridges of paint, you're going to be just fine. So we just about are done with this. I'm gonna. Oh yeah, and then make sure you pick up your roller and set it back down again, and don't work your roller back and forth by turning it on the wall, if that makes sense. All right, so that is officially done on that section right there. So. Uh, we are going to keep going here. I want to make watch me paint the entire wall though. Uh, maybe I'll try to get a close up here so you can just see a little bit closer as this goes on. <clears throat> so yeah, just uh, be patient with it and uh, it should turn out absolutely beautifully. Alright, so we're back to the load up stage again. Some more paint. And just keep that roller totally saturated, as you can see. You can kind of rotate it like this to keep it from dripping. If that makes sense. And then when your roller is really full, don't go all the way to the edges yet, because otherwise you'll end up with a whole puddle of paint up near the ceiling or the floor or what have you. So, I kind of, what was it, about four times I think that I would go over the same area or so before it's uh, ready to move on to the next section. You don't want to get too much of the wall done at once, otherwise you will end up uh, with paint lines because it starts to dry on you. So, anyway, <clears throat> that's been it. Just a couple tips for uh, using a paint roller. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please rate this video up and feel free to subscribe down below for more uh, videos kind of like this one uh, and uh, updates on our house project. We're remodeling an old, uh, probably 1890 something farmhouse in Southwest Minnesota. So pretty exciting. Thanks again and we'll talk to you in the next video.